Kobudo is the ancient art of using Japanese weapons, often featured in movies and TV shows. But does it really work? Or have I spent my whole life studying a martial art that's both outdated and impractical? In today's video, I'm meeting Icy Mike, the most greatest self-defense weapon that there is. He's a former police officer and weapons enthusiast. We're gonna compare his modern self-defense tools to my Kobudo arsenal and see what works best, the East or the West. Oh! <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Weapons? Y'all yes. want weapons? I got weapons. Whoa. <laughs> what the heck <laughs> is this? I got... Whoa! Yeah, right there. It's doing modern weaponry, right? All right. I got more. Are these even legal? Or what? Are these legal? Dude, this is the American South. Everything is legal. <laughs> <laughs> I got weapons. I got weapons. This Whoa. is just, that's a, just a training gun. I got cool. weapons. Cool. It even has his name on it. And they don't show up in a metal detector either. The metal detectors are trying to encroach on my freedoms. I should be free to carry whatever I want to wherever I want. Weapons, 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 weapons. So the thing about modern self-defense tools, I have a theory okay. on why modern weapons are different. Yeah. Fundamentally, and it comes from the fact that most of these are what? They're easy to conceal. <laughs> God, this guy's like the smartest guy I know. Everything is easy to conceal. That's kind of the name of the game with self-defense weaponry. You yeah. want it to be easy to conceal. And back in feudal Japan, or Okinawa, mm -hmm. the birthplace of karate, if you saw someone that you didn't know within a certain number of feet with you, you were much more alert than we are now because we are forced to be around each other on trains, buses, streets, and stuff like that. Mm. If you were in a little farming village that had 100 people in it, you knew everybody. Yeah. So now if you suddenly see someone you don't know from very far away, I'm not saying that you pull out your sword instantly, yeah. but you'd be like, I don't know that guy. You can and grab if, a weapon. Yeah, and yeah. if you see 20 guys yeah. that you've never seen in the village before, yeah. a staff or a sword suddenly makes more sense because it's like, hey, they're definitely not here just for our amusement parks. <laughs> yeah. You know, That's just my theory because modern weapons, it's all about getting the most bang for your buck in a small package. Mm. You know what I mean? Can I try? Yeah, uh, yeah go ahead. That's heavy. Right here. <laughs> yeah. Um, this stuff, so this is tried and true. I'm actually not a big proponent of these. I don't think they're actually that great for self-defense. How come? Um, there's a narrow set of circumstances. Uh, the, the biggest problem is because we get so close to each other, yeah. everyone, that said, everyone that criticizes my Criticism of this says, yeah, let me hit you with it and see if it's not effective. Yeah, yeah, if I let you hit me with it. Right, then it works. But if I'm already here and then you had to not only pull this out, but then deploy it. And you probably know from staves and, and the different traditional weapons, like inside of a certain distance, they become as much a liability as an asset. Yeah. You know, because I can grab it too. Yeah. Um, we're getting a little more new. This is kind of new and untested. You know what this is? I, <laughs> I don't even want to know what I mean, it's is. a whip, obviously. Right. But, wow. uh. Generally, the, the industry has gone towards things that you can conceal and okay. things that you could use on a person even that has a hold of you, like, like something like that. That is loud. Yeah, and that's part of it. I mean, that's part of the, watch, when I put this in your hand, you're going to feel very powerful. Whoa. That's part Wait, of what? the, I click push here? the yellow button. The yellow button. Woo! That's Don't you feel easy. Like a, yeah, it's so easy. And that reaction. It's of, terrifying. Yeah, yeah, that's sometimes enough. Yeah. And next... These the oh well this is my favorite most favorite everyone knows this the most greatest self defense weapon that, is that there a is flashlight yes the most greatest self defense weapon that there is no it's the, way objectively speaking this is the <laughs> best self defense weapon that there is one hundred percent because I don't have to teach you like you know what a, how an impact a short stick or a short mm. staff impact weapon works but it has this blinding Ooh, debuff right strong. that's eighteen hundred lumens even in daylight boom. It, you're blind. Yeah. You can't see. I flash you and no. then I move. Yeah. And then all I have to do is incorporate it into my existing empty hand skills. I don't have to learn a new weapon. You know, exactly. basically I just box with this in my hand. Yeah. Hard push for turbo. Ooh, yeah. And then I just smash you. Yeah. You're wow. gone. I'm still seeing spots and it's daytime. And people laugh at that. People think that that's not real. And I'm like, I was, I was a cop for eight years. And yeah. every night I was putting my flashlight on people. I'm taking away information from them while giving myself more information. This is a, another... Another uh, favorite, the old knuckle duster. You can really mess somebody up with these 
and they have a negative connotation. Like when people mm. see these, they think bad guy. Yeah. This is a bad guy weapon because yeah. you, similar to the baton, and that's why people don't, people don't understand why these are similar. They think this is for good guys. This is for bad guys. Yeah. yeah. This is a thing that I have to pull out and make ready when I know there's about to be trouble, not in reaction to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? The, the, whole, the whole problem with some of this stuff is I, I have to know that there's gonna be a problem. And if I know there's gonna be a problem, I probably could have done something yeah. different or even just said, hey, sorry. Yeah. Peace out, you know? Yeah. Knives, great. This is not a, a modern weapon. I mean, these have existed since the beginning of time. Right. It's designed to be- Very what, light. Well, so this as a self-defense weapon, it's not a tool. Like it's barely got any handle at all. You know, like no grip. And you'd think like, well, I can't cut firewood or chop vegetables with that. It would be unpleasant. Yeah. The idea is it's a weapon. It's yes. a tool for self-defense only. It's not made to, to be a utility knife. No. Um, but nothing more American than a handgun. This is probably the most modern of self-defense weapons. Yeah. Um, and Would you say that is the most effective self-defense weapon? <sighs> it... Uh, I, it depends. That, that, that's a loaded question because the context matters so much. Mm. This is crazy. This is why I get in so trouble. Welcome, welcome to the, the troll zone. <laughs> okay. It's when I say things that I really mean and people think that, they, that I'm trolling because yeah. it's so ridiculous. I think this is the better self-defense tool. All right. I don't mean that it's more lethal. Clearly no. it's not. I believe that it has more uses in a wider variety of contexts than this. More practical. This is a person is trying to kill you or do great bodily harm to you, or do any of that to someone that you're tasked with protecting. Mm. And that's the only time you use it. Yeah. Not when someone makes a noise behind the dumpster. Yeah. Not when someone comes up to you at a gas station and is like bothering you. Yeah. This, I can use this on you, yeah. and you'd be like, oh dude, what? And I'm yeah. like, oh sorry, my bad, I didn't, you startled me. Yeah. You can't do that with a gun. Like, oh. if you're like, hey, do you have a dollar? I can't be like, bang, 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 bang. Right. No, I don't have a dollar. Should we have a look at some of the old school traditional ones? Yes, I would love for you to teach me about that stuff because I never got that <laughs> in any of my martial arts training. All right, so we got the traditional weapons, at least some of them. Yeah, so. I'm kind of familiar with these, but I feel like I don't know anything about them. I have these. What is the, I want to know what, why are these? So these, I think these are my wife's. I don't know what she uses these for. But uh, she's, okay, she really likes so them. I'm not going to touch that one. Right, um, but why are these so. octagonal? You don't slip as much uh, if, if you're sweaty when that you That makes them. sense. These are always really slippery. Yeah, they're slippery. Yeah, yeah, they always are. They're like, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe for a different reason. But, so you want them to have this kind of octagonal shape, right? Now, what was your question about the nunchuck? Except, that was it. Oh, that, that was, was it. it. Okay. Yeah. So now, that was it. Now you know. Is this real? This. I mean, is this a real thing? So this is not something. It is. It is. It is. But it was popularized in ninjutsu. More specifically, shuriken jutsu, which is the art of throwing, throwing stars and other kinds of projectile weapons. Mm -hmm. Now, you would usually use this more for distraction, and it is not something that is used in karate or the Okinawan arts like kobudo, for instance. Even though it is very popular in movies. There you go. I think it yeah. just looks cool. There's a mystique that surrounds it. It looks super cool. Yeah, I don't think you could kill somebody with this unless you dipped it in poison. I mean, imagine if you got this in your eye, though. That would suck. Yeah. So the, the, the ninja or the samurai would throw this... Yeah. And then they would pull the sword, right? Yeah. So you're kind of like the flashlight. Right. So you're occupied yeah, totally, with something like and then comes the real hit. Yeah. Another weapon is, of course, the Sai. Now, this was actually used by law enforcement originally. That what does this of... remind you of? Uh, I don't know, like something you could, yeah, a baton. A baton. Because it's not sharp. Nope. In the movies, they always make them pointy and sharp. Like Raphael, he throws his and cuts with his. It's not supposed to that's be a, sharp. That's a metal baton. Yes, that's exactly what it is. And this part here, you could capture and control a wrist, or if, if the attacker had a sword, you could also catch it and perhaps even break it if it was bad yeah. quality sword. So it's literally a baton. So the higher ranked police officers in Okinawa would be using a sai, and the lower ranked used the bow, the staff. And then for some reason, there's also a sword here. So this is what the samurai would be using. And the Okinawans, they were occupied by the Satsuma samurai. So they didn't use these. They had to right. actually defend against them instead. And that's why they had their own weapons. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> now, I think we should actually do a comparison. I just launched an online course called Kobudo Mastery that teaches you the bo, sai, tonfa, Nunchaku, Kama, Tekko, Eku, Timbe, and Rochin. Visit kobudomastery.com to learn more, or just click the link in the video description. 
In front of us, we have a bunch of fruit, and now we're gonna see who can smash the best, east or west. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what fruit do you want to start with? When we do this, because we because we do this sometimes. Okay, so I've never done this before. Yeah. This will be fun. Yeah, Jesse's a very serious, sincere martial artist. I'm a goofball, so we're gonna <laughs> come in my backyard and smash fruit. We like to start small. Okay. And this tests like speed and accuracy. Yeah. And then we'll go bigger and test like the power and then it's more dramatic. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the sword. So for the tomatoes, I am gonna go with the whip. This will be fun. Wow! Yeah, that's what it that would do. That is beautiful. And, and everyone knows, scientifically speaking, that tomato flesh is very similar to human flesh. It's basically <laughs> the same thing. It's science. I gotta be honest, this is not the kind of weapon I would usually practice with, but this is all you had. This is all I had. This is a cheap, like, flea market junk, <laughs> junk sword. <laughs> so I'll do my best. <laughs> <clears throat> That was awesome. <laughs> that is yeah. clean. Now it's my turn to choose, right? Okay, yeah. So we're stepping up something a little bit bigger, the melon. What kind of melon is this? This is a cantaloupe. I'm going with the Psy. So the cantaloupe is kind of like a person's head. Yeah. I'm gonna go with the Nux. <laughs> oh, you got it! Yeah. Whoa! And that's what it does to the skull when you just you graze sliced it. it. Yeah, just yeah. I just I just grazed it. Yeah. And that's that's the only way you can hit with these. If you actually hit directly with these, it hurts your hand. Imagine slicing somebody's skull up like that. Bam! You're actually supposed to use this this way, but I'm gonna stab it because it looks way cooler. So here we go. <laughs> that's it. It cracked and I pierced it this way, straight. It didn't go all the way through though, right? Now it did. <laughs> Lollipop. So I think you definitely won that round because you did a whole cool flourish thing be <laughs> before you even <laughs> stabbed it. That was awesome. But that's not really how you use this because this isn't really meant to be like. Exactly. So if you look at the very old models of the side, they actually have a round tip because you're suppo supposed to beat, yeah. Dude, exactly like that. So when you explained to me that this was like a law enforcement weapon, yeah. that clearly makes sense. Exactly. And so in law enforcement context, the, I, the first step wasn't always bash him in the head. No. Sometimes you're telling a guy to get on the ground and you just give him like hard shots to like unpleasant places because you're not trying to kill him. Limbs. So do you think that that's maybe how they would have used it? You know, because if it was a blade, you can't use a blade in a less lethal manner. That's you true. can't be like, hey, you're too drunk. Yeah. You need to go home. <laughs> and they cut him. And then just cut his leg. Yeah. yeah. So that makes sense that it's not sharp if it was a law enforcement exactly. weapon. Exactly. But one major difference is that I can also switch to this position now. So I, I could block. Like yeah. This. We were never taught to do anything. The tonfa, you were taught to use that way. Yeah. Like yeah. The, the, we were never taught to use an inverted grip mm. or anything else with this. It was just. So if you're very leg. close to somebody with that one, would you maybe use the butt like, like that? You could use the butt yeah. or uh, you switch it like this and you can push ah. really hard under the neck or use it for leverage or something like that. You never do that with the side, but you, you could in theory. You, yeah, you probably yeah, could. Yeah, exactly. Interesting. Which one is next? These right here, right. the most armored of the fruit. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to use the baton because okay. I know that that'll get through there. So I'll go with the nunchucks, but I'm not gonna go with the modern version. I'm gonna go with the traditional version of made of wood. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Just Whoa, like right. Yeah. Dang. Okay, it smells delicious. Yeah, it's so good. I'm about to give it. And we're definitely eating these afterwards. So don't worry, guys. We're not wasting any fruit. Oh, or right now. Yeah, I pretty much. <laughs> Let me see. I'm going to do this position. Ooh. And look, I even caught it like you're supposed to do. You catch it, right? To all you McDojos out there, that's how you use a nunchuck. But I thought it was going to bounce off and then it was going to hit you and it's not a real weapon. <laughs> that's it. Huh? 
Oh shit! <laughs> oh my favorite That's pants! Great, That's your brain substance all over my pants. You know like a hunter say it tastes better when you kill your own animal? Yeah. I'm Same thing here. I'm definitely absorbing this pineapple's powers because I because I killed it and claimed its power for my own. They say you should eat the heart of the animal. You're also supposed to hang its nuts around your neck and smear its blood <laughs> on your forehead. All right, next up, you got some pineapple stuck Yeah, in big time. You know, I think we should go big now. Go big? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'd love to see if we can smash one of these bad boys. All right, I got you. What are you gonna use? It's a secret. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, I'll tell you right now, I'm gonna go with the throwing star. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Put it in. But, it, but it's, uh, Sh it's just sideways in there. Oh, there you go. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. More, more? Yeah, more. Harder. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh. Jesse, that was good. Here we go. Ooh. That's it. <laughs> Maybe I was a ninja in a past life. Imagine that straight in your face. Oof. So your turn. Use the shuriken to yeah. deliver a distraction, right? And then you have to deliver the final blow. Yes. That the shuriken can't do. Gosh, she's not. <laughs> but the shuriken can't do that. No. Right? Yeah. But this can do both of those things. Flashlight. Yeah. I deliver the distracting blow. Okay. And then they can't see. And then. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the real benefit is these little. They're called crenellations. And when you put that into a person, it leaves. That, yeah. and yeah. it has the distraction ability too. Yeah. That's why I think this is the best self-defense mm. weapon that has ever existed. Yeah. So we got two tomatoes left, and those are wild cards, right? And then we yeah. have these. Cool. Now, I don't have a lot of options left. So you know what? I'm gonna have to improvise. So if I've been practicing Okinawa and Kabuto, <laughs> I should be able to use anything from this pile of trash as a lethal weapon. Listen, listen, listen. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Let me explain. This is not my trash. We have bears here. A bear did this before they a think bear. I'm some filthy okay. dirt ass. Look. Here we go. That's perfect. I've been training for this all my life. Let's do it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, so let's see what your stick. <laughs> He's got a stick. Yeah, 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 because again, because he looked cooler, but it was very clear, like this is fun, this is fun, and yeah. it's funny, but it's very clear, this is a, not, a, this wasn't designed to be a weapon, it's no. not the heaviest, it's not even straight, yeah. and it was very clear that he was able to actually deliver the real technique yeah. with anything, so yeah. that was... That was the fruit that kind of exploded the most. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. was a real explosion. Yeah. But that's the whole point of using these traditional weapons, right? That you can't walk around with these on the street, but if you know how to use them, you can use anything as a weapon, including a stick you found in the forest. That was impressive. I'm, I was like, really? That was really good. <laughs> okay, we got, so we got two tomatoes left. But I don't have any weapons left, though. Yes, you do. What? My hand. <laughs> right here. Show him the stock of Yeah. Okay. Our real weapon. So what are you gonna use? Mine. Okay. Right? Let's just do a presentation first. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> what would you say is the conclusion of this challenge? Um, that the training methods utilized by people who practice traditional weapons yes. are superior to the training methods typically utilized by people who practice with modern weapons. Really? A lot of people believe you buy it, you put it in your pocket and then you're done. Right, you so know, they don't actually have drills or live practice with them. Right, mm. yeah, because it's unpleasant, time consuming, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, if you, can't, you, you can't do nunchucks wrong, you know what I mean? Like if you want to <laughs> learn to use nunchucks, you gotta, you gotta learn how to use nunchucks. Exactly. Um, now, nah, there's probably also Obviously collect you could hit yourself you yeah. know, on, in the wrong spots. And I'm not talking about collectors, I'm talking about people who actually purport to be practitioners of this art. Yeah. I'd say the training methods are superior because they're mm. martial arts training methods. Right. So ideally, you want to bridge the gap and get the best of both worlds. Yeah. So you should create modern Kabuto. Sell it to law enforcement. Yeah. Make a billion money. Damn. Okay, I'm stealing. I'm going to cut this out because no. that's my <laughs> idea. Okay? <laughs>
there's only one problem. We still got two tomatoes left. So we're gonna go bare knuckle. Nice! That was spot on. Two knuckles. Let's have a look at that. It was them two exactly. Right there. <laughs> Bam. Yeah, and that hole is right there. Bingo! Yep. That's the way you do it. So I'm gonna use Shuto, the sword hand. Ready? Did I get it? Yeah. I did! <laughs> Look! It was so fast I couldn't even see it myself. <laughs> okay. So, wanna make a pizza? Yeah. Nice. A pineapple pizza? Do you put pineapple? Oh, a pineapple pizza. That's American, right? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not claiming that. I've been to Italy a couple of times and never saw one. Yeah, I don't think you will. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Hey, what about these grenades? We forgot the grenades. So what do I do with it? Uh, I think, I'm pretty sure you just pull the pin and throw it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs>